Today in MATLAB Basics, we're going to cover a data storage type called the cell array. The cell array allows you to store different data types inside of one container. Let's begin by looking at a regular array and some of its limitations. If I start with this matrix, I could ask what is the first element and it would tell me 11. I could add another element pretty easily and it would be expanded. However, the limitation comes in if I were to try and make the fifth element here, Doug, a string, it's going to tell me I'm not allowed to do that. So let's contrast that with a cell array. With a cell array, if we use the squiggly brace here, we can say C1 is equal to 11 and then C2 is equal to 22, C3 4 is 44, and then finally if we say C5 is equal to Doug, that works just fine. So we're able to keep different kinds of data types in the same data structure. Now if we want to get out a few of these, the indexing is similar but it doesn't work exactly the same. If we were to say C1, we'll get out our value of 11, that's no problem. But if we try and pull out a range, like 1 through 3, it's going to come back as three different answers. If we wanted to pull out, let's say, the fifth one, C5 would give us Doug, and then we could do things like I want the first element of that fifth element in the cell array, and it would pull out the D. We could give the range here, and it would pull out DOU. So there's similarities and differences in the way that a cell array works. The big advantage is the ability to group different kinds of data types into one larger structure. And of course, if we wanted to add a sixth thing, we could say C6 is equal to, and make another cell array that would be stuffed into that, like this. And you'll notice that now the original cell array C, its sixth element, is another 2x2 two two cell array. Thank you.